Hey, we have here on the board today another integral. This one's from MIT Integration B 2020, problem number 12. I have the integral of zero to pi over two, sine two x, cosine of cosine x dx. Okay, let's get right into the problem. So the first thing I notice we're gonna to wanna to handle is this um, cosine in here. Having cosine as the input is kind of tricky. But before I do that, I think I'm just gonna deal with this sine of two x, noticing that with the double angle formula, we can rewrite this as two sine x, cos x. And here I just rewrote the whole integral, but I wanted to bring my two, this two right here out front, and we have our sine x, cos x, replacing our sine two x here. Next, to handle this, what I want to do is let's make the let's make a u substitution. So I'm just going to call my u equal cosine x. So that's going to simplify this piece. But notice we also have a cosine here. Uh, let's take the derivative first. So let's say, okay, so our du, derivative of this du is going to be minus sine x dx. And just to set up this u substitution a little better, I'm just going to create a minus sign right here. And we'll bring a minus up front so we're not changing it. And that way, this minus sine x with the dx together is gonna to be our du. Let's make the substitution and see what happens. So we have our minus two, then we'll plug a pi over two in here. Cosine of pi over two is zero. We'll plug a zero in here. Cosine of zero is one. So we've changed our bounds. We'll substitute here this cosine x, we're gonna have a u. Then this thing's gonna be cosine of u du. Again, with our minus sine x and dx is gonna be our du. And then real quick, I'm going to take this minus sign here and use it to change our bounds. So we'll, we'll, we'll just flip these and we'll now go from zero to one. And now we can integrate. This is set up pretty nice for integration by parts. Of course, I'll use the DI method because I love the DI method. So we'll set this up for tabular integration. I'm going to have my two columns, a D and an I, D to differentiate, I to integrate. I want to differentiate my U because what happens when you differentiate U when you differentiate a polynomial, the power decreases and we can differentiate all the way to zero. So we'll start with that and then we'll integrate our cosine of u. Then differentiating over here, derivative of u is one and then differentiating again, we're gonna get to zero. Here, the integral of cosine is gonna be sine of u. Integral of sine u is gonna be minus cosine of u. And then our solution here is gonna be on the diagonals. Okay, so let's see what we're left with. We'll have our two out front here, u sine u. And then for this next term, our minus and minus are gonna cancel and we're gonna have just a plus cosine of u. And we just need to evaluate this from zero to one. Okay, now I'm ready to evaluate. So we'll have our two out front, then we'll be plugging in a one. So I'm gonna have, yeah, we'll just leave a one here, sine of one. You don't see that very often. There's sine of one plus cosine of one. Then we're gonna do minus two. Now we'll plug in, when we plug a zero in here, when we plug a zero in for u, we get zero times sine of, of u zero. So this first piece is just a zero, plus cosine at zero is just gonna be one. Now we're almost done, I think we'll just clean it up a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna factor a two up as we have a two here and a two here. So we'll write our final solution as two times sine of one plus cosine of one minus one. So I put this in a calculator just to get like an approximation and I had something like 0 0.76354, et cetera. This sine of one and this cosine of one is gonna give you like a big decimal answer and then you just have to multiply it all the way out and you get something like that. So that's it, thought it was a pretty good problem today. Thanks everyone for watching. Please like and subscribe, have a good day.